Hello everyone, so today I'm going to test out uh, 86 box with a uh, for a uh, Pentium 2 450 or on this computer. This computer is a Haswell has a Haswell chipset. It's a Intel i7-4790K at 4 gigahertz with 32 gigabytes of RAM. This uh, computer has a GeForce GTX 970 video card with 4 gigabytes of RAM. As you can see, the specs are right there. That's the video card. So let's test it out. So right now it said I set it to a Pentium 2 450 running Windows 98 second edition that is pretty slow isn't it so middle click button to get out click back in let's see it's pretty slow as you can see it's running at 39 38 37 percent that's that's not optimal and let's see how my computer is doing so my computer is using about 37 percent of a CPU power this CPU is pretty powerful definitely can handle it but uh, I I don't have enough speed to uh, make it usable. As you can see, the mouse is skipping, so that's a bad sign. It's pretty slow. This is a Pentium 2 processor with a 128 megabytes of RAM. And here, Uh, so I'm using a 3DFX Voodoo 2 graphics accelerator. I have a Sound Blaster 16. It's pretty slow. I have to say it is very, very slow. Definitely, this computer is having a problem uh, struggling through. Uh, through this. That's very slow. I definitely can't run any games on this. Not not like this. I would need a much faster CPU to do that. So I'm going to run it again. This time I'm going to go to Tools, Settings, and set it at a lower processor. Let's try, hmm. let's try 75 megahertz and see if that's, that will work better or not. So, the Pentium 2 Calameth is a, it's an early Pentium 2 processor. This is a lot better, but it's only running at 75 megahertz, which is not, which is not terribly fast. Okay, it's a lot more re responsive, definitely definitely snappier shows it's a Pentium 2 but it's only 75 megahertz okay let's try another processor let's make it a little bit faster than this I'm gonna go back 
here, go back to settings, and I'm going to try a, let's try 233, see if that's better or not, try to get better results. Eighty ninety four one hundred one. Now it slows down. That's pretty bad. Now it's running at like sixty sixty three to sixty five percent, which is not good. This is this is pretty choppy. It's definitely a lot better than the 450. It's not good. It wouldn't be good enough to run games with. I'm sure it wouldn't. I would need something a lot, lot faster. Maybe a ninth or tenth generation Pentium. I mean, not a Pentium, an i7 or an i9 base processor, or even a AMD Ryzen processor. Okay, that's it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the optimized version for this computer. Okay, now I'll be using the optimized 86 box version for the Haswell processor. This is the processor that I have. This processor being an i7-4790K. This has the Haswell chipset, so I'm going to be using that. And I'll be running the Pentium 2 Calamus 233 megahertz. It's it's still very choppy. But it's a little bit better than before. It's not as a uh, okay. It's a, it's a little smoother. Definitely, it's not playable. Let's go to here. I wouldn't be playing any games with this. I think I need a faster computer some reason I don't think this is going to be able to cut it when it comes to playing games or anything forget it still not good enough if you want to play games I think it would have to be at least 90% or 95% if not it would not be good So let me try something else. Let me go back here. Let's try another processor setting. Okay, 233 wasn't, we got about 63 to 65%. So let's try this. Let's see what we get. Three hundred megahertz at sixty six megahertz bus frequency. It's worse. It's, uh, hovers around fifty forty nine to fifty percent. Okay, that's predictable. I said a higher processor. Definitely, this is a lot more choppier than before. You're really not going to be able to play games with this. Not like that. Let's see what we get with the...
Let's actually set another motherboard. Let's try the 8-bit BF6. I think I should do that. different chipset. Maybe that might improve things. Okay, I'll do that. Let's see. Slot 1. We'll do the 8-bit BF6. Set it Set it at 75 first. lot better. 75 is... Okay, that's manageable. This is good enough to play games with. But of course, 75 is not an optimal speed to play games. We would have to have at least 166. So this is pretty good. It's around, hovers around 97 to 100. Which is fair, which is excellent. Let's try 450. Quite slow, 36, 35. This is not good. No, this is terrible. 32. This is definitely faster than the i5. 37. 357s are okay. But it's still slow. It's not even responsive. Yeah, you would need a very fast processor to make this work. Okay, let me sign off. Long. Shut down. This is pretty slow, even for the optimized version. So I don't think it would work unless you have a very fast computer and uh, basically if you want to play um, Windows 98 games that were made in, let's say, 1998 to 2000, you would need at least a Pentium 2 to play it, if not a Pentium 3. If you have anything less than a Pentium 2, you're probably not going to be able to play any games with it. It'll be too slow. You're not going to be able to play a uh, a game that was made in nineteen nine late nineteen ninety eight to two thousand on a Pentium one sixty six MMX. So uh, the eighty six box definitely does use up a lot of uh, processing power, 
and as you saw from uh, the task manager on my computer um, it wasn't using up a lot of CPU power like in percentage wise however um, when I was running the emulator it was using it was very slow when I set it in a Pentium 2 450 it was uh, hovering around 16 to 33 percent which is not optimal at all so yeah you'll need a fast you'll need a faster computer um, to be able to utilize it so um, please you can try it on your computer if you have a fast computer um, uh, t tell us about how it how it ran on your computer okay uh, leave play, please leave it in the comment section thanks for watching my ace 1000ks 1975 signing out